This key concept video follows on from the previous video about gradients of tangents. And in this one, I'm going to talk about the concept of the turning point in the context of differential calculus. So I have the same equation here as the previous video, y equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 3. This is what it looks like from my graphics calculator. And I want to focus on this particular point here, which is a minimum and it is a turning point. We either have mins or maximums. So minimum would be a turning point here, maximum would be a turning point here. Now the nature of turning points, if I was to draw a tangent at that point, so in the previous video we drew a tangent up here at x equals 1, but if I was to draw a tangent at that point, it would be a horizontal line. And why is that important? Well horizontal lines have a gradient of 0. Lines like that are positive gradients, lines like this are negative gradients, horizontal lines have gradients of zero. And you may be thinking, well, why is that important? Well, what if I wanted to find the coordinates of the turning point? Well, I could use my calculator. I could go menu, analyze, minimum, find it like that. Yes, that is one way, but I'm gonna show you a way using differential calculus, which also hopefully ties together um, the concept of what a turning point is. So just keep those numbers in mind, minus 0 0.333 and 2.67. Okay, let's now derive this equation. We did this in the previous video, so I'll do it quickly. Y dash equals uh, 6x plus 2. Now, as I talked about in the previous video, if I was to put in the x value at a particular point, in that video we did x equals 1, it'll give me the gradient of the tangent. Whereas for this particular scenario, I know the gradient of the tangent, it's zero. So I'm going to instead let y dash equal zero and solve for x. So it's basically doing the reverse, if that makes sense. I'm letting the tangent, the gradient of the tangent equal zero and I'm gonna solve for x, which will give me this equivalent x value. So let's go ahead and do that. Zero equals six x plus two. I'm going to now subtract 2 from both sides. Uh, I'll firstly rewrite it, so 6x plus 2 equals 0. I've just changed the order. Now subtract 2 from both sides, 6x equals minus 2. Divide both sides by 6, x equals minus 2 on 6, which is equal to minus 1 on 3, which is equal to minus 0 0.333 recurring, which if we bring our calculator back up, was the x-coordinate of the turning point, minus 0 0.333. That's this value here. Now we could then go ahead and sub that back into the initial equation to get the y value, which would be uh, 2.67. But I'm not gonna do that in this video, that's not the focus of this video. What I really wanted to focus on is turning points, tangents at turning points, both mins and max, are horizontal lines, and as a result, the gradients of the tangents are equal to zero, and we can use that information to, f to derive, get the derivative, and let the derivative equal to zero to solve for the x or the variable. Another method could be just simply plotting the original equation and using analyze min and max, but it's good to have both tools in your toolkit uh, for, when, for when you are doing differential calculus questions. Okay, there's some tough turning point um, questions in the cal differential calculus question bank section, so I recommend now giving some of those a try.